a bunch of badasses if you know what I mean. They're coming out of the sky, out of the sea, and you know, on land. Gonna Stand by, because I'm about to break your chi. You're like, whoa, what are you going to do to break my chi, brother? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up this gun right here, and I'm going to hold it in front of the camera. And I know half of you just passed out. You're like, oh, he's holding a high point. Oh, man, I'd rather not have a gun than own a high point. Stop yourself. I've been in gun shops, I've been at gun shows, and I've heard knuckleheads say stuff like that. I'd rather not have a gun than own a high point. You know what? If you say that, you're a moron and stop saying it. Now, why do I say that? Well, if you follow Student of the Gun Radio, if you listen to our radio show, and shame on you if you don't, you know that about a month or two ago, we did a story about a woman in Detroit. It was actually a family, but it was a woman with a gun in her hand who had to defend her home against three scuzzbag home invaders. That's right, they've got videotape on the surveillance cameras of this house of these three scuzzbags kicking in the door, breaking into a family's home. And what did they have to defend themselves with? Well, it wasn't this gun right here. It was a high point carbine, but it was a high point gun. And you might say, well, maybe she should just not been armed. She should have taken my professional advice and saved up her money until she could get a good gun. And you know what? If you've got the disposable income, rock on. Get yourself a more expensive gun. But is somebody who lives in an inner city, a bad neighborhood, they're trying to raise their family on a fixed income, do they deserve to be armed too? Or should they just wait until they get more money to get a good gun? Now, these guns are not pretty. Okay, let's face it. This thing has a face that only a mother could love. But does it go bang, bang, bang every single time? Absolutely it does. This is actually the second pistol, the second 9mm pistol we've got from High Point. We've been out to the range. We run them one-handed, single-handed, all that jazz. Boom, boom, boom all the time. You're like, well, how many rounds can I get out of it? I don't know. It's a $200 gun. How many rounds do you expect to get out of it? I would say if you get a thousand rounds out of a $200 gun, you're doing pretty darn good. So before you get all up on your high horse and start telling people, well, I'd rather not have a gun than have a high point, you might want to consider that there are some people out there in the world that can only afford $200 for a gun. And do those people deserve to be armed or should they just be disarmed because they don't have a Kimber with hydroshocks? Get off your high horse. Sometimes people need an inexpensive gun and this gun right here might just be the answer. Stop! Hi guys, this is David with MKS Supply and High Point Firearms. I want to talk to you today about the High Point's Home Security Pack. This is new for 2014. What you will find with the Home Security Pack it's your choice of a CF380, CF9, 40 or 45 caliber pistol. And what you get with that pistol is a steel lockable container with 18 gauge wire. You can mount this to the floorboards of your truck, underneath the bedside table. The idea is to give it a quick, easy way to access your firearm rather than the cumbersomeness of a safe under stress. Also, High Point Firearms is the first manufacturer to issue out a firearm with lockable container that can be secured virtually anywhere if you're looking for the High Point's home security pack, contact your local dealer. And also for more information, please visit highpointfirearms.com.